Hi, I'm Gina Lepore. I'm a researcher and sexuality educator. Across the country, a new trend is taking hold in response to high rates of sexual assault on college campuses. This is the adoption of new policies regarding the standard of consent for sexual activity. These are sometimes known as affirmative consent or yes means yes policies. Many existing policies place responsibility on the person who did not give consent to prove that he or she said no. Affirmative consent policies shift that responsibility to the other person to prove that consent was given. It will be important for us to work together to disseminate accurate information about policy language and intent. Help young adults on college campuses understand what the policies mean for them and help young adults develop the skills necessary to put these new guidelines into practice. We recently spoke with some young adults at one local college, as well as the director of the Student Wellness Center to better understand their perspectives on affirmative consent. And here's what we heard. The intention is to really bring awareness to the fact that sexual assault happens and it happens much more than we think about it because we don't talk about it enough. This is really aimed at situations where there's uncertainty, there is alcohol or other substances involved, or there is a power differential. Young adults do understand the concept of affirmative consent. I've heard it's the policy that's surrounding sexual assault and consent, which I think is great. Um, it means that like both parties have to consent for the whole time during whatever sexual behavior is going on. You know, there's no and then there's yes. Anything that's in the gray area means it wasn't yes. But they don't know very much about the policy or how it will affect them. Uh, I just know that it's kind of an issue that's kind of talked about, just consent in general right now. I don't think a lot of people know about it. I know that they're kind of switching the language from no means no to yes means yes. Many young adults think that yes means yes policies are important. I think right now it's just too loose as to like what is consent. There's too much gray area. I think it's a really great policy in terms of making sure that people can be prosecuted. I, I think for one, like it's gonna make couples or whoever's in the act um, come together and talk more about sex. I think it'll cr like create more communication and I think it might help couples or if there's more than one partner kind of talk about what consent means to them. Couples would talk about it, they'd probably feel intimidated at first but eventually they will have a definite answer yes or no. Young adults also have some great ideas about next steps. I think that a law is great, but um, it needs to be needs to be popular. It needs to be presented in a way that is efficient in educating students what is going on. Finally, because there has been backlash by some groups in response to yes means yes policies, we asked if they thought that these policies would make sex less exciting. I think what they're doing is really like making sure that any sexual activity that happen is happening is like consented by both sides. And if you have a sexual relationship that doesn't have that, I mean, you have a problem already. I think the only reason people believe that is because they have these images of, like that the media gives them of passionate sex where they're not talking, just ripping each other's clothes off. And like, that's not really what it looks like. <laughs> and if you're having a good time, there should be that, okay, is this now this? Okay, now this? I don't know, I just... Part of the fun is asking the questions exactly. that take you there. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Affirmative consent policies provide an opportunity for educators to focus on helping young adults build better communication skills. Good communication can lead to better and healthier sex. And yes, really can be fun and sexy.